final fights by movies, films, and flicks. I am Mark Hoffmeyer, and joining me is a woman who learned to fight by watching Bennett and Commando. It's Megan Hoffmeyer. Hello. So you does learned... that make me the winner then? So you learned how to fight by watching Vernon Wells battle Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando. Hundred percent. So is that why you're always throwing guns? Yes. And getting electrocuted, mm-hmm. and then running at people with double arm combos and and gut shots i also have no fingerprints because i handle hot metal doors as our second episode of final <laughs> fights this is a fight that i've long loved because it's it's an odd one you have arnold schwarzenegger's john matrix and arnold schwarzenegger is you looked at his arms during a scene in this movie and you went what is happening well i think i was very surprised by the fact his shoulders are huge obviously his biceps are just what <laughs> and then his forearms aren't nearly as big as the rest of it, so it's a strange sort of transition there. Oh, I never even noticed that. And then you have Vernon Wells, who's just... He looks a little paunchy. And so a movie critic famously said... I'm not, I don't want to make fun of this. This is what a movie critic said. He said so he looked like a sock stuffed with marshmallows. Aww, but that's it's not. Mean. it's not Vernon's fault, though, because he wasn't the original guy hired for this film. So he wasn't hired. They brought in a guy for Bennett. They didn't like him. So... They're like, okay, we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring in Vernon, who director Mark Lester was like, I'm gonna bring in Vernon Wells, who he played Wes in Mad Max too. He is, he was known for tough guy roles. The problem was they didn't have enough time to refit him for a costume, mm. so Vernon got put in a costume for another guy that was smaller than him. You know, I was just gonna say the costuming is what looks off. It looks just like he has ill-fitting clothes. Not that he's a you know badly shaped man. Yeah, so they had no time. Like you just gotta wear this stuff. And there's some famous, so, you, you know, during the scene, they have a knife fight and a guy named Jack Crane, a Texas knife expert, created their knives for them. I was for just going to ask, scene. what kind of knives are those? Because they're very gnarly looking. And they have their own personalities too, don't they? Mm-hmm. They've got a bunch of notches and ridges in them. What is going on there? And so the, like some behind the scenes things, Vernon Wells was hired and apparently he would take it easy during rehearsals and the directors are worried like this guy, Arnold's going to kill him. But I guess when they went live, mm-hmm. Vernon just went all at Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I guess it kind of pissed him off. And he, he's quoted he as saying... pissed off Arnold? Yeah, and he's like, never give Vernon a real knife. Because oh, Vernon no. was... He would just go for it. Well, he you can tell that he's very gung-ho because the first... He throws the gun, which is something yeah. we should discuss later. But then he takes his knife and he grips it in two hands like <laughs> it's a very short samurai sword. And he has the classic line over here. Uh, he's like, I'm going to kill you. Then he goes, I he's like yeah and now i'm going to kill you now and he's like and he runs at him and okay so a lot of people don't like this fight because they don't think that arnold and vernon would have that close of a fight yeah they're not that evenly matched i can see that remember when i wrote that pitch for that certain uh, website and Mm -hmm. there is a if you think about it arnold hasn't slept in 24 hours in this matrix right hasn't slept in 24 hours he hasn't had water in a long time so he's tired, he's dehydrated. Also, he just killed 117 people. So his adrenaline is depleted. Exactly. And so his muscles are taxed, and there's depolarization that happens. Oh. I read somewhere that lactic acid buildup is kind of hooey, so I didn't research that further. Uh-huh. So his muscles, you know me when I go out and trim the bushes with the electric saw and the chainsaw, my muscles are kind of shaky afterwards. Mm-hmm. So Arnold's is like that. that- a little bit upsetting to hear that lactic acid is hooey because my swim coach used to give us a real hard time about that. I mean, maybe it is. The one article I read said it was hooey. But maybe anyway, it's not hooey. he's going through some stuff. Yeah, so he's tired. Also, Bennett is former Special Forces. He and Matrix used to work together. And then they disbanded. Then everyone started killing him. And then they kidnapped Arnold's daughter. And then they're like, well, if you don't kill this person to help out this general area is played by Dan Hedaya, the dad from Clueless. Huh. We're going to kill your daughter and... It's just a whole weird plot so about political... So they've got a complicated past. Yeah, and so the two of them... But then, you know, Bennett got kicked out of the Special Forces unit Ooh. because he was too violent. I can see that. <laughs> so I read this really funny article here where... So he enjoyed killing too much. And when, when they, Arius came to him, he's like, I don't need $100,000. I'm going to work for free. Which is stupid. <laughs> I know you want revenge. <laughs> Remember in Aquaman when they're like, do you want revenge on Aquaman? He's like, I don't need money. They... You gotta cover your expenses. Exactly. Though. They were they handed Manta in Aquaman gold coins from Atlantis. Atlantis. Yeah. And he's like, no, I don't need it. I want revenge. That's ridiculous. And then 
he he fault he helps fake his death, right? And then they kidnap Jenny, played by Alyssa Milano. In this article I read, which is really funny, they said he had a street level power level, which is really funny. And he's a slave to his passions, and he blames others for his faults. But you can see in this movie that Bennett, the final fight, is very he is overrun by passion. When he scream screams and runs at Matrix, he's like, Ay! And the punches he throws, he's very emotional, <laughs> right? He's very... Your face when and, you do that. And at the end, he's so... He throws away his gun because he lets Arnold get in his head. He just... He throws his gun at Arnold. So I'm going to sum him up with one word and not all those other things. Impulsive. Impulsive. There it is. <laughs> very impulsive fighter. And at the end, he is... He's losing the fight, even though he did a great job against Arnold. He grabs almost like an Uzi looking gun and he points at Arnold and he goes, I'm not going to shoot you between the eyes. I'm going to shoot you between the balls. It's like a little snub nose, automatic, semi automatic he, thing. He has to cock it. But mm-hmm. before he does, there's a part in this fight where his head bumps against a pipe and knocks it loose. Later on, when he's about to shoot Matrix, Matrix pulls that pipe out and spears Bennett. Yeah. And he says, let off some steam. Isn't that amazing? It's let just, off some steam, Bennett. It's just one of those things where you have to let it linger. You have to sit there and watch the steam come out of his guts. Literally comes out of his guts. Mm-hmm. Now, I want to do some math here. Uh, you and I have never been hit by a blunt pipe. Let's hope not. How fast? And it goes through chain mail, too. How fast? He's like five feet away. Mm-hmm. How much power would need to be thrown? So is there an argument for them having slightly superhuman? Oh yeah. Okay. So, the, you you had I mean, when we were watching the fight scene, you had a question for me. You asked how he got his he is shirtless. How, oh why yeah. Is Ar- I said why is Arnold shirtless? So he attacks this island and he's killing everybody, and he goes into the shed and takes off his vest to in- inspect a, like a wound from a grenade. He mm-hmm. got a little shrapnel on him. Actually, I wrote a post on movies, films, and flicks, and I figured out that three thousand and seven bullets missed. Arnold in this gunfight prior to this fist fight. He's either very lucky or extremely Well, the militia hired. Supernatural. They weren't well paid and they never trained. That's mm-hmm. my thing. And the guns were faulty. So it wasn't their fault. They were just scared of this guy. Uh, but yeah, so that's why he didn't have a shirt. Because he took off his vest and he was in a he was in the middle of this, this shed and they shoot it and he chops a guy's arm off, throws a spear, like a saw into a guy's head. What? And he's just lifting people, though he snaps necks like butter in this movie. He's not, in the beginning of the film, he's carrying a tree on his shoulder, a tree trunk. As you do. Yeah. So he is, he's essentially Hobbes from the Fast movies. Oh, I love that movie. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So so then what does that, wait, if he's Hobbes, who's Vernon Wells? Who's Bennett? Ooh, that's a good question. Who is Bennett? Now he loses, so it can't be Vin or Statham. No, it's it's not. And it has to be one of the bad guys. Hmm. Man, that's, do you think it's the the brother? Jason Statham's brother? Luke Shaw? No, because he's not quite bumbling enough. And yeah. he doesn't do totally mental things. I think it has to be someone from one of the first few movies. Maybe the fourth movie. All right. So, the oh, okay. There, there's a villain in the fourth one who works for Braga. Mm-hmm. And he gets wiped out at the end, but getting smushed by a car. Yeah. So let's say that's him. Mm-hmm. He's I the guy that so. supposedly kills Letty, and then Letty comes back. See, he's not even good at his job. Right. So you want to guess how many strikes landed in this fight? Oh, strikes of what kind? Any, Any kind? Slice, bonk, kick, whap. Okay, so I was way off in our last episode yeah. of Final Fight. So let's bring it down to 150. 35. Oh. There's a lot of choking in this one oh and there's a lot of bonks <laughs> what is a bonk <laughs> like when you take someone's head and you bonk it against the oh, pipe okay. or you bonk it remember that scene where he throws open the furnace door yes and he bonks i have a lot of questions about that scene and then he so this is interesting too he rips off the furnace the door. door yes and he a big steel door with massive hinges i can't even imagine swinging that open with ease and his he has fingerless gloves so some of his hands is protected not his fingers he rips it off and throws it at Arnold. Mm-hmm. But he gives Arnold a shield because then Arnold picks it up <laughs> and he starts bonking him with the steel pipe. Yep. And he, I tell you what, he's working Arnold's body pretty well. Yeah, he's going at all the angles. So, I mean, you're, you're fighting a tired Hulk. You're, you're fighting an oak tree. <laughs> a tired Hulk. You're fighting an oak tree. And he's tired and you need to get him out of breath. You want to work the body. 
You want to hit the liver. You want to hit the gut. And that's what he's yeah. doing. And then he gets him up against that the open boiler and the flames are sort of coming out of it. And they're. Do you think they're so greased up that the grease protects them from the flames? Uh, well, I think that they're, that part of this all defies a little bit of logic. Those flames almost look like they're coming out. Well, they are special forces. So maybe they train their bodies. To adapt to flame. Yeah, and their okay. hair. Okay, all right. They are flame retardant now. Yes. I mean, I, that... That's a good explanation as any. They don't burn. Their hands aren't burned. No, they do not burn at all. So you know how Muay Thai fighters will kick trees or steel poles or, you know, hit their legs with steel pipes until they become just calcified and they don't hurt during these Muay Thai fights. So could you say that Bennett's really putting Matrix's ass to the fire in this? Yes, (laughs) he's taking him to the limit. And so they're not burning, right? They're not at all. That's it. All right, what do you think? Who has a better knife fighting technique? Matrix, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or Bennett? Mm. And if you were a knife fighter, which one of those would you employ? Okay, so those are two different questions. I would say the more stylish and just gung-ho one is Bennett, for sure. He's using two hands, he's slashing, he's gripping, he's doing all kinds of things. But if I had to employ somebody's tactics, it would probably be Arnold. They don't get to really finish that fight, though, because they quickly tumble over the yeah. the they, piping. They 20 and, feet. And down onto a metal grid, which has to hurt, especially with no shirt on. So in this, Bennett lands the first slash because he's real. He's doing the finger motions, too. Yeah, he's doing the kind of like the distraction and the whole. And then he slashes Arnold and then Arnold slashes him. But Mm -hmm. you know what's interesting in this fight is when Arnold gets slashed, Arnold never goes. But when Bennett gets hurt, he's like, he makes noises. (laughs) And so when Bennett gets slashed in the arm, he's like, hey. And then eventually they tumble and they lose their knives. But which knife fighter would you be? I'd be an Arnold. I'd probably be an Arnold. It just seems the safer choice. Because if I lost, at least you know that I wasn't trying to, you know, cheese on you. That's Slashing true. fingers well, and then exactly. I get him cut off. He's, Bennett's being very risky with his fighting style. I think the Irishman wrecked knife fighting for me. That Why movie. is that? Because remember when Al Pacino's talking? He's like, if they got a gun, rush him. He's like, but if they got a knife, run away. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Jimmy Hoffa saying that? Oh, so, the, okay, we're coming back to the, the gun-throwing thing. Why, though? Because there's a lot of theories about Bennett and Matrix. So okay. this article, hotdog.com, they wrote, if you go on IMDb, they said that Bennett was in love with Matrix. Oh, no. Because he's always talking. like he's. Is this like a Top Gun trailer recut He, like, makes situation? a speech about him, and he sighs, like, if Matrix were here. You know, and then he's just, I'm going to get you, and then he wants to shoot him in the balls. Mm-hmm. People have made these long things about it. He's impulsive, right? And I think his whole point was getting back, getting revenge. He didn't want $100,000. He wanted revenge. Mm -hmm. So this is a guy who is not rational to begin with. For sure. So I think he took that as a challenge. He wants to, he knows he's not better than him, but he wants to prove it. See, that's where people always go wrong in movies. Shoot him. Yes. Just end it. Yeah. Just do the thing in Sicario where he wipes out the family. No one will come after you in the future. Now, don't do this in real life. I, we do not No, I'm talking about in a movie. In a movie. If yeah. you are the character in the movie, just get it done fast. Isn't Sicario great? Oh, Sicario is so one, good. Yeah, that's really good. Emily Blunt for the win. She's spending some good fights. Love some Benicio. All right, so. Very scary. He, he gets tricked. Not tricked. But you know what's interesting about that? That one moment in this fight scene shows they have a history. Oh, yeah. Because Arnold's like, don't be a chicken shit, Bennett. And <laughs> he's like, put down the gun. Because he shot. Arnold shot, too. Mm-hmm. He gets shot in the arm. And he's like, I only have one good arm. He lied. And yeah, so, for, yeah. in Bennett's head, he's probably thinking, this dude is tired, hasn't slept, he has shrapnel in him, he got his arm shot. This is the time to fight him. Like, you don't fight Arnold when he's fresh. Yeah, when he's at 100%. He, he's, his power bar is down to, what do you think? 15 50, whoa. <laughs> 20. Yeah, his power bar is down to 15%. And so he's like, this is the best time to do it. Now imagine being the guy that defeated Arnold, I mean Matrix, in a one-on-one brawl. In front of his daughter. 